everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i'm laura from atomic apothecary and uh, today i am on the road um, so forgive my phone if you hear my map quest talking to us <laughs> um, i am currently on my way up to madison wisconsin to the university uh, for a medical appointment um, i do have my sunglasses on i'm sorry that you guys can't see me um, but I have no makeup on my face, and I'm not going to be showing that on camera, sorry. Um, but I have no makeup on my face today because I know that at this appointment, ah, I'm going to be crying because, well, let me give you some backstory. So, almost three years ago, uh, I would say it started a few days before Thanksgiving, I had a horrible, horrible headache in the back of my head. And it would always be worse in the afternoon and the evening, but it would um, gradually progress through the day. And every day it was like this. I couldn't, for it, for the life of me, get it to go away. No matter what I took, no matter what I did, you know, if I took a nap, you know, whatever. It didn't matter. Uh, it still hurt. And then, so Thanksgiving comes along and passes. And then it was a Sunday morning and I woke up and the left side of my face was paralyzed. So I had Bell's palsy. But at that time, I had no idea what Bell's palsy was. So I was like, oh my God, I'm dying, I'm having a stroke, blah, 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 you know, that kind of a thing. So my husband took me to the emergency room and they said, no, no, you're not dying, you're good. Um, it's just Bell's palsy, it should go away in a couple weeks. And I'm like, okay, great. So totally embarrassing. Um, had a drink out of a straw, couldn't, you know, blink my eye. It was just a mess. And then, of course, I worked in customer service. So any words that involved a B or a P were like super hard because I couldn't, you know, purse my lips together. I couldn't do that. So, <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Um, so about two and a half, three weeks later, it goes away. Hallelujah. I look normal again. Um, but the headache never went away. It stayed. And <laughs> um, after a while, I was like, okay, this is not good. Okay, I need to go see a doctor again because this is not normal. So moving down the line, several doctors later, several neurologists later, they're like, oh, you have trigeminal neuralgia, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, so for like a year, I thought I had trigeminal neuralgia, um, <laughs> but I didn't. Um, it took me a whole another year later, so two years, two years of this headache, nonstop, 24-7, uh, feeling like somebody's stabbing you in the back of the head. Two years, two years, yes. Um, it took a doctor up at the University of Wisconsin to tell me, no, you don't have trigeminal neuralgia, you have occipital neuralgia. What? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so, I said, okay, so what do we do? He goes, well, we can shut that nerve up forever if you want. And I'm like, all right, let's do it, let's rock and roll. He goes, but, but, don't we love that word, but? Um, we have to do a couple nerve blocks first in order to confirm that that is the correct nerve because if we're gonna go in there and silence this nerve forever, we need to be 110% positive that we're doing it to the right nerve. Oh no, shit, Sherlock, okay. So, it makes sense, right? So, I go in for the first nerve block. This is probably like October of last year. Um, soon as I came out of anesthesia, I like started crying and they're like, oh, it's the anesthesia. You'll stop crying. People get emotional. I'm like, no, no, I'm serious. I'm emotional for a reason. I don't feel it. You did it. It's the right one. You hit the spot, right? So they're like, great, great. So that nerve block lasted about a week. And then I was like, oh shit, here we go again. Right. And then they're like, okay, well, we need to at least do one more just to make sure. I was like, oh, whatever. All right. Another trip up to Madison. It's a long drive. Um, right now there's construction the entire 
way, okay? <laughs> um, luckily back then there wasn't. But, um, so I had to have my in-laws drive me back up to Wisconsin and do nerve block number two. As soon as I came out of anesthesia, I started crying. <laughs> and they tell me the same thing. I'm like, no, stop telling me this. I know what I'm talking about. And they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you hit it. It's the right one. We're good. Okay, so I talked to the nurse practitioner um, two days after the procedure because I think I did it on a Friday. So I called her on Monday. And I said, hey, so-and-so, we hit the right spot again. Let's, let's keep moving with this because we were getting close to the end of the year. I had already met my ridiculous deductible that I have. Uh, and I'm like, if we don't nail this by the end of the year, I'm going to have to start all over again. Okay. And if anybody knows anything <laughs> about going to a university, um, to be treated, um, with big, you know, huge specialists, that's a lot of money. Okay. That's a lot of green right there. Um, so she's like, okay. And I'm like, no, I'm serious. We need to get this knocked out. Let's do this shit. And she's like, okay, okay, let's set it up. So December 18th of 2017, I go in for surgery. And what they did is they cut the occipital nerve, severed it permanently at the root of C2 in my neck. So I have a scar that's like, like this on the back of my head. And they had to shave the back of my head to do it. And of course, you know, they have no hair cutting skills. So it was like, and I looked ridiculous, right? And <laughs> so I had to chop off all my hair so that it grows out evenly, you know, because otherwise I'd have this big chunk underneath of crazy wild hair that growing out that makes no sense and it would look super, super lame. And I'm definitely one for wearing my hair up, so I definitely can't show that. <laughs> so I had to cut my hair off. Um, but anyway, going back to severing the, the occipital nerve at the C2 root. Um, we did that. It worked. Boom. I don't have the headache in the back of my head anymore. Um, every once in a while, I'll get like a phantom ghost, what I call a ghost pain. <laughs> you know, where it's like, hi just you know and then it's gone and then it's gone so I'll take that any day over pff, hell okay because that's what it was for two years it was hell um, but <laughs> it's not over <laughs> so I have what I call the dead zone because it's completely numb in the back of my head because um, it's the root of, the nerve is dead you know there's no feeling there I mean, I get the sensation of an itch and I go to scratch it and I can't satisfy that. It like, it's so bizarre to me. I can't satisfy like that itch feeling because of the numbness. It's really, really bizarre. That's all, I mean, that's the only thing I can say. Um, so, I mean, there's the slightest bit of feeling because there are other nerves down, you know, in that area. It's not just the occipital nerve. Um, there are other nerves. So, I mean, if I was to like poke, you know, around with a pin, I'd feel a little something, but in general, it's pretty numb. Um, but above the dead zone are other nerves <laughs> that are not so happy. <laughs> They're not happy that I killed their friend and, uh, they keep firing off. It's not consistent 24 seven stabbing in the back of my head like the other one was, but it's, annoying as fuck, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. Enough that I'm going back up to Wisconsin right now to see an anesthesiologist um, to do what I thought was going to be done last visit, but when she felt around in my neck and shoulder, she was like, oh my God, how long have you been like this? And I'm like, like what? I'm 43. I've been like this for 43 years. What are you talking about? And she goes, you're like rock hard. And I said, oh, I've been like that for as long as I can remember. Like I can't even have somebody massage my shoulders. I'm like, oh, don't touch me. No, 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 no. Like I carry all my stress and tension in my neck and shoulders. 
so she's like, okay, I can't do what I need to do until we fix this. And so she ended up doing trigger point injections into my neck and my shoulders to, as she described it, break up the knots. So by poking the needle into the knots, it sends, you know, a message to your body that we need to destroy this. Boom. <laughs> so like a bajillion pokes later, I was very unhappy, but it was tolerable at least. Um, you know, I was done. And do I think it really helped? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't think it did. I don't, I can't say it did or it didn't. That's just, we'll see what she says when she feels my neck and my shoulders. But what's supposed to be done today is having injections into my head. Yeah. Needles into my head while I'm awake. I'm not going to be out on under anesthesia. So this is why I have no makeup on right now because I have a lot of anxiety related to a needle going in my head multiple times. And I know I'm going to cry just simply because there's a needle going into my head. Um, I'm sure if you Google, you know, trigger point injections, numbing injections, nerve block, whatever, into the head, uh, you know, my, for migraines, things like that, you'll see videos of this. Like, I didn't get permission ahead of time from my doctors to say, hey, can I video this? Um, so there's not going to be a video of that. Um, but she's pretty much going to stick a needle in my head in multiple locations and inject, you know, like a steroid-like drug um, to basically silence all the little nerves that are angry because I killed a friend, the occipital nerve. <laughs> so it, this feels like the never ending story. Like this is, it's, it's almost been three years, three years of my life. And if you Google and go to Wikipedia and look up occipital neuralgia or tri trigeminal neuralgia, you will see it listed as the suicide disease. When I read that, I was like, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I was like, but living through this for three years, I can look at it and completely see and understand that it could be called that. It's very difficult to deal with. Um, if I wasn't who I am with the type of personality that I have, I can see and understand that I probably would have had a lot of issues in that particular topic because it is hell. It is equivalent, the pain is equivalent to cancer pain, okay? It is ridiculous pain and it's in your head so you can't concentrate, you can't focus, you can't, I mean, you can't live. I mean, I've basically three years of my life, like half of it I've probably spent in bed. Like my poor husband is so, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't call him a saint, but he has put up with a lot of bullshit for me um, in regards to this and gotta love that man, I swear. Um, because it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty shitty. So today I am going to go have that needle stuck in my head a bunch of times. Um, and then afterwards I will do a follow-up clip and, 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 uh, link that to the end of this video so that you can get my uh, afterthoughts on the procedure. Because I know there are other people out there like me. Um, both conditions are very rare. Um, but there are definitely, uh, you know, lots of other people in this world that have this issue. And it's not really something that's talked about. There are not, I mean, if I tell people I have occipital neuralgia, they're like, well, what's an occipital nerve? <laughs> they have no idea unless they, you know, are in the medical field or, you know, have heard, you know, heard about it, which is so rare. 
Um, I think I've only found one other person, honestly, one other person in a bar for that matter, um, that knew what the occipital nerve was. <laughs> Americans are not very smart. Um, so if you have this and you're watching this video because you're researching and you've been diagnosed with this and you don't know what to expect, what to think, uh, feel free to comment below. Um, I would be more than happy to contact you and talk to you. You know, I'm cool like that. Um, you know, definitely if you like this video so far, hit the like button for me. I will be linking the second half of this video, you know, in just a few minutes um, after my appointment. So until then, <laughs> may the odds be ever in my favor. <laughs> See you in a bit, guys. Thanks.